Hey gang, it's me. Sorry I can't make it to PBL, um, but I figured I'd record a video of my learning objective. I had the renin angiotensin aldosterone uh, system. Uh, so the idea with this system is that you have a decrease in plasma volume. And we know that the kidney uh, filters the plasma and the uh, glomerular apparatus um, identifies that you have a low plasma volume. And so what happens is in response to this, the kidney uh, secretes what is called renin. Um, and the idea of renin is to stimulate a cascade of events uh, that increase uh, systemic blood pressure. Uh, so uh, we all have learned about the liver um, and the fact that the liver produces tons of just proteins. One of the proteins that the liver produces uh, is uh, angiotensinogen. And renin will travel in the bloodstream to the liver, and it will convert angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1. Um, and so now you have um, a somewhat activated uh, protein. Angiotensin 1 is the first uh, protein of 2. Now, angiotensin 1 has to be converted into angiotensin 2 to have any uh, type of effect on systemic blood pressure. And this happens in uh, the lungs. So the lungs produce an enzyme called angiotensin converting enzyme. Uh, angiotensin converting enzyme uh, converts angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. So I'm going to backtrack and say that, which is very concise. You have juxtaglomerular cells in the kidney that produce renin. Renin converts angiotensinogen into angiotensin in the liver. Angiotensin 1 uh, now travels to the lungs, gets converted by angiotensin converting enzyme into angiotensin 2. Now angiotensin 2 has four main effects on systemic blood pressure. So acts in these ways. First is a direct effect. So angiotensin 2 will bind directly to alpha-1 uh, receptors uh, in the vasculature and will initiate vasoconstriction to directly increase blood pressure. Okay. Angiotensin 2 will also uh, stimulate the release of vasopressin from the posterior pituitary. Okay. As you know, vasopressin acts on the collecting duct and uh, initiates the reabsorption of water from the collecting duct and increasing again the plasma volume which should uh, help to increase the blood pressure. Next is uh, angiotensin uh, acts on the uh, zona glomeri glomerulus uh, which is in the adrenal gland uh, which secretes aldosterone. Aldosterone also acts on the collecting duct uh, to reabsorb water, but it also uh, reabsorbs the sodium as well. So it will reabsorb one sodium and three water molecules. And so um, you have vasopressin, which only absorbs water, and you have aldosterone, which absorbs both sodium and water. Okay. And last but not least, angiotensin uh, 2 works on uh, thirst control centers in the hypothalamus. Um, and these will make you thirsty, make you want to take in more water, and increase uh, plasma volume. So recap one more time. Angiotensin II has four effects. Increases aldosterone release, increases vasopressin release, and it also uh, increases um, your desire to drink water. Um, as well as having a direct effect on vasculature through alpha-1 receptors. Okay. Now, uh, two kind of clinical pearls um, that are related to our patient. Um, so, a patient with hypertension is often treated with an ACE inhibitor, which will prevent the uh, conversion of angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. Um, and also has another unique effect, which we learned about in FARM, is that when uh, you uh, inhibit angiotensin converting enzyme, uh, what you also do is inhibit the degradation of uh, bradykinin. Okay, 
Um, and so angiotensin converting enzyme is uh, responsible also for degrading bradykinin, which has a vasodilatory effect. Okay, um, and so part of you know solving somebody's hypertension problem is vasodilation. So you're stopping directly uh, the alpha one vasoconstriction, and you're uh, decreasing the rate of degradation of bradykinin. Bradykinin also is an irritant to uh, the bronchopulmonary uh, system and can cause patients to cough. In our case, our patient is on uh, Lozartan, which is an angiotensin II receptor blocker. Um, and uh, this bypasses the effects of ACE inhibitors. Um, so, in a nutshell, that is uh, the angiotensin aldosterone, uh, renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Uh, I hope this was informative, um, and I will see you guys when I get back from Louisville. We'll see you later.